You know, it, it's uh, great to have you here, Mayor. We're thrilled. Uh, quite a story. You go from the ring of <laughs> WWE yeah. wrestling, ending up being the mayor of uh, Knox County, Tennessee. So. How does that arc happen? <laughs> I'd always been interested in government po and politics, uh -huh. um, especially when I uh, started getting a paycheck and, and realized that, wow, <laughs> they take taxes out of this and eventually <laughs> I have to pay taxes. <laughs> and it was one of those things where I, I literally woke up one day and I thought that I could have an opportunity. Uh, my predecessor is now U.S. Congressman Tim Burchett. He was term limited, so it was an open seat. As you know, it's very difficult to beat an incumbent, and if you're gonna yeah. try, you really have to, to go for an open seat. It was my first campaign. I was very fortunate and blessed to have good people around me running the campaign and helping me, and I was either blessed or, in some days, I feel as a little cursed to win and become mayor. The challenge of, of being in government now is that People have so many expectations that the government is going to do something for right. them. You know, I remember the words of John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I don't hear that anymore. What happened to us? Right. That's absolutely true. And I think it's just this shift that uh, government in some ways has just become this thing that can do all these things and give things to everybody. And... Uh, that's unfortunate, not only from a fiscal conservative standpoint, which is what I am, but also from a dependency standpoint. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I really think that that attitude has put a cap on in people and folks are satisfied with mediocrity instead of being, uh, being encouraged to become the very best that they can be. It's like, well, you know, I can get this stuff and the government's gonna give this to me and that's okay. And I think that's really uh, diminished our ability as a country uh, and individuals to really achieve great things within their own lives and also all of us together. You, uh, you were part of a rather controversial uh, move this summer when uh, the county voted to mandate mask. And uh, as I recall, the vote was like seven to one. You were the only one who said, yes. no, we're not gonna mandate it. It's something right. people do voluntarily. Well, what was your thinking different than the other members of the commission? Sure, it actually wasn't commission. And this is where things, with this whole COVID deal, this is where things uh, have really gone off the rails. Um, we have a board of health and under the Tennessee state constitution, the board of health actually makes those decisions. Uh -huh. now, I sit on the board, but I'm the only elected official. Uh -huh. And of course the people on the board of health look at things, they're doctors, and they look at things from a purely public health perspective. Sure. And I understand that. Right. And if, if I were a doctor, I would be saying the same things. But of course, I have to look at things from this much bigger pie. Um, and constitution, civil liberties, and all those things. And I just don't feel that it's government's job to say that you have to do that. Uh, we can encourage it. We can say it's the best practice. You really should do that. You know, businesses on their own can say, hey, you can't come in here if you aren't wearing a mask. As county mayor, I can say you have to wear a mask in county buildings. Sure. But as far as forcing private individuals and businesses to do that, I didn't feel as appropriate, even if it was something that was probably a good idea to do. Glenn, final question for you. Was there something out of the wrestling world that you were a part of that you learned that helped you in politics? I think the most important thing is it, it's really your people skills and your ability to relate to people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the most important thing throughout your life. And I did learn that in wrestling, even though a lot of times in, in, in the ring I'm beating people up, but still I have to get along <laughs> with them backstage so I can convince them to get beat up. <laughs> and that, that's, that's the most important thing. And realizing that politics is not, even though government uh, is its own thing, that politics is something that we deal in every day of our lives because it's really just our ability to get along with other people and in many cases to persuade them to see that our way is the right way. I'm always uh, grateful that people are willing to go and put their name on the ballot. Uh, more people, I wish, would do that. It would make our country better. And I'm grateful that you did it. And, uh, you know, I'm very, very happy to have you here. Thank you for coming Thank to be you. with us. It's Appreciate been a pleasure. It. I'm going to go see Trey now, right? Uh, I, yeah, right after we go to this break, I want you to go over and beat the stuffing out of that young man. It's about time somebody takes him on.